2011 Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We're talking with Tim Holden of Holden on Racing. He has a performance custom bike. Let's start from the beginning, Tim. What were you trying to accomplish with this build? Uh, to bring this uh, custom sport bike scene out in Minneapolis, there seems to be a, not a huge need for it, and I felt that with the sport bike scene and how many people are out here, it would be good for the area. What was your vision for this bike? Uh, outrageous. Stand out above anything else out in the streets and to be seen from a block away. What was your inspiration on the motorcycle? Lights. More lights, the better. Like 3,000 of them? Yes. Yeah. It was 3,000, yeah. Let's talk about the fabrication. Let's start at the front and work towards the back, please. What we did was we installed what we call halos, cat eyes, in the headlights, which enhances the headlights with a color. So when he's driving down the street, he'll have a purple haze in front of the whole front of the bike, which in, in hand goes with the theme of the bike of the purple and chameleon color. What about the front end? Did you do anything to the... We didn't do anything to the front end other than the halos. Uh, the front end's completely stock. Front forks are completely stock. The only thing we did do was add a custom RC component wheel. Also for the rear, is it an RC wheel on the rear? RC wheel, uh, other than that, the RC wheel is a 300 series tire. Uh, it is 18 inch instead of the stock 17 inch. Now you had to do a, a, a rear swing in arm yep, on that? Yeah, we too? used a, a 10 over Myrtle West uh, dual axle drive swing arm. Uh, it's beefed up with a nitrous bottle bracket under bracing to hold uh, the weight of the big tire in the back. What about the engine? Uh, just basically nitrous is the only... Yeah, we've got a, uh, we got a 40 shot of dry nitrous, which is installed in the motor. Stock motor, uh, it's basically just to give a little bit up when you need it. What was your approach on paint? To make it different than anything else I've seen in this area. Most people use single colors, dark colors. We try to come out with uh, a chameleon that looks kind of like a marble look look different than anybody else. So in the sun, depending on what angle you have... You it have changes up to three or four different colors, yeah. What was your inspiration on paint? Uh, just to be outrageous. Who would you like to thank on this build? <laughs> the, the owner and my wife for uh, <laughs> let me spend... With you? <laughs> yeah, let me deal with uh, hours and hours on and working on it. If somebody would like more information on your company, how would they you get that? Uh, you can go to holdingonracing.com. Uh, that's your best bet. I'll have my phone number, address, and anything you need to know about me. Tim, thank you very much. Thank you.